Yo, what's up? It's your brother. And hopefully your friend, Big Hill. Rockway's in the building. Uh, each one, teach one. As you can see, I got all this stuff here going on. And I've been having this uh, podcast equipment for about over a year now, man. And I don't really use it. Uh, I'm not really into it as much as I thought I would, you know. I saw it. I said, man, let me get me because that, you know, podcast was going on. I've been having this, I think, about two years now. And uh, I saw it. I said, let me hook it up and uh, see what's going on here. Make me a quick video. I ain't really had nothing to talk about, but uh, I don't know if I'm giving me another microphone. This is the mic that came with the podcast equipment, but I want me one of them professional looking ones. The big puffy joint on it. But yeah, got me a mic arm. I don't like the way it's hooked up to that table. It's leaning a little bit. I think I might have to find somewhere else to hook that up because uh, that's not going to work. But anyway, man, I'm going to uh, speak on this right quick. The things I've been seeing around here lately, uh, and I guess I'll call this video hood, man, uh, strong manhood and strong womanhood. You know what I'm saying? Because, let's see if I can say this without naming names and people. I'll just say, man, I, I've been privy to a relationship. I've been privy to watching how a grown adult woman pushing 50 move and what I see is is is, is and I don't want to sound judgmental because you know uh, people live their lives the way they want to and just because it doesn't agree with me don't mean that in their mind there's nothing wrong with it but you know when you used to be toxic and used to live a certain kind of way and then you clean your act up and then you uh, see how other people are move, making moves. You know, you can see unhealthy. You can see unhealthiness all day, every day, or within their behavior. And, you know, I figure by the time you get 49, 50 years old, you should be tired of being a damn hoe. You know, your body should have become a little sacred to you at that point. Uh if you done spent the last 30 years giving up pussy out both draw legs, you know what I'm talking about? And then you 49 and 50 and you still fucking two and three motherfuckers, you know what I mean? You still uh, run around using folk. And this is how you live it. You know, I don't know what they call them here where I at now, but I know where I come from. They call them old hoes. You know what I'm saying? Because by the time you're 49 or 50 years old, you know what I'm saying? You should be, uh, have cut a lot of that promiscuous behavior out, especially in 2021. I mean, you know, I was like in my early 40s when I discovered a few things about sex and the sexual transfer, you know? A lot of people think of sex just about busting a nut have an orgasm, man. There was just a lot more going on through that through that process, you know what I'm saying? And uh I had got to the point, man, where I you, you know, you just I just ain't gonna stick my dick anywhere. You just ain't gonna find me sleeping with anyone. Uh just cause you got a pussy, you think you can give me some pussy? No, you can't. There's a prerequisite, you know what I'm saying, for me to sleep with you. You know, and uh I'm a brother that done develop some sexual discipline, so don't think you can just use sex as a weapon and you can get me like that. You have to come with more than your your loins if you you know if you after me. Uh, but you know, I don't want to be up in the womb of a woman who got the energy of three or four different men in her. You know what I'm talking about? Nah, because I live a certain amount of purity the way I live my life. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, I ain't trying to have that type of uh, energy on me like that. Had my motherfucker run around crazy as hell and you don't even know why. And then this brother, here's this motherfucker out here, man, spending all kind of money and she treating him any kind of way. You know, I've actually seen this nigga come off a vacation, get to her house. 
and another nigga drive up on some of that pussy and she put him out so she could fuck another nigga. But this nigga here talking about he love her. I'm like, dude, you got to learn how to love yourself, man. How the hell are you talking about you love somebody and you allow them to treat you? If you love yourself, you won't allow, that self-love won't allow uh, you to let anyone treat you any kind of way. It just don't work like that. You know, you you paying all the whole bills, she running around bragging on it. I'm like, dude, that's not a man. You're an adult man. You're an adult male. That's not manhood. Manhood comes with some prerequisites, bro. And uh, the way you doing now, nah, that's not manhood. I'm sorry. But anyway, man, I just wanted to speak on that right quick. It's just a test run. I probably won't post this. I just want to see what's, what's happening. And so that's what I'm going to do right there. Bam. And we out.